Hey, everybody, we're going to talk about some of my favorite opportunities in the stock market. Before we do, please click subscribe to my channel and take a minute to check out a message from our sponsor, The Motley Fool, where you can get the top 10 stocks to buy right now. So Warren Buffett is about to issue his annual letter to shareholders, something I look forward to all year. And we're about to find out the year end results from Berkshire Hathaway's business. In that spirit, I want to kind of take a look at Berkshire stock portfolio and look at some of the stocks that we like the best right now. And in my mind, his one of his more recent stock purchases, Ally Financial, ticker symbol ALLY, is really worth a look right now. A lot of investors are scared because Ally is an auto lender primarily. They have a full suite of lending and banking products, but they were a spinoff of GM a long time ago. And that's still their core business is auto lending. There's a lot of concern that if, with a recession coming, uh, rising rates, consumer demand for auto loans is going to dry up and defaults are going to spike. But we're not really seeing that yet. Um, in the fourth quarter, Allies stock spiked after its earnings. And it's easy to see why it beat on both the top and bottom line, indicating demand is staying strong. It's a very profitable business model. It originated over $9 billion of auto loans in the fourth quarter alone at an average interest rate of over 9.5% because rates have just gone up that much. Its average cost of funds, meaning its deposit base on its banking side in 2022 was about 1.7%. So even with a reasonable default rate, that's still a pretty big margin. And that's exactly what we're seeing. Its default rate did tick up. It's now just right around pre-pandemic levels, so it's normalized. And it still has a net interest margin of 3.65%, which is one of the best in the banking industry. It has over th about 3.6% of its loan portfolio in reserves to cover defaults. And it's just a, such a profitable business model. I think the fears are so overblown. People are not going to stop paying on their car loans on a large scale. Um, and it's been a cash machine. The company spent, the company bought back roughly 18% of its outstanding shares in 2022. Um, that's just the latest in a string of, of high buybacks, which I'm sure is one of the things Buffett likes about it. It also pays about a 4% dividend yield. Um, it's been a cash machine that's going to slow down. Demand is falling, but not, it's just not as much as expected. And the stock trades at five times earnings and at about a 15% discount to book value because of consumer fears about the auto lending business. Now, it, the business might contract. Earnings might contract a little bit. It's going to remain profitable. And I think long-term, this is a stock that's really worth paying attention to at this level. So when it comes to Buffett, there's, you know, everything that one of Buffett's big things is economic moats. And for me, if I look at the portfolio, there's few things that scream economic moat than the gatekeeper of the financial markets, which is, and one of the few companies that is that is Moody's. And that's one of the ones that is really interesting to me uh, as a long-term investment. You know, when you, when you talk about a, if I'm a corporation and I need to get my corporate debt rated so that I can sell it as a security, I can basically go to three people. I can go to S&P, I can go to Moody's, or I can go to Fitch. And that's about it. And being that and having that kind of, you know, we if you don't get one of our ratings, you're not going to be able to sell your debt or your equity is not going to get rated for institutional investors. That's just a huge, huge market opportunity and an extremely durable one. We were talking uh, pre on a previous video about kind of the stickiness of financial data and financial ratings with S&P Global, but it's kind of the same thing with Moody's too, right? Like it is extremely, extremely hard to, to build up the library of data, the, the intellectual capital built up in a company like Moody's and the reputational capital that somebody like Moody's has to do things like debt ratings, to do all of these things. We, we've seen some people try, but it, they have never been able to really crack uh, the, the big three in this industry. And as a result, it's just been an immensely profitable company for an ex a very long time. You know, I, I, I don't know if I want to get too deep into the weeds on like, you know, revenue in any given year, because it's just one of those companies that I 
feel like you can sleep relatively well at night knowing that it's there and it's probably not going to do much, but like over the past, for the, for the guide guiding for the year, you know, operating cash flow of 1.7 to 1.9 billion and free cash flow of 1.4 to 1.6. This doesn't take a lot of capital to keep this business running. And as a result, that money can get deployed to shareholders. And that's the kind of business that over the very long term, there may be some lumps, there may be some bumps, but things like that matter over the very long term. And I think it's what's going to make a company like Moody's stick around for a really long time. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to click subscribe if you don't subscribe to my channel already. And as always, this video is sponsored by The Motley Fool. Be sure to visit www.fool.com frankel to receive the 10, top 10 best stocks to buy now.